Welcome back, guys, to John Robinson's My Career Game against the Knicks. This is the second half of the game here in New York. And this is going to be a really short video, guys, because, you know, this is the end of the game. I didn't get to play at all in the second half. And ironically, I finished the game once again with nine points. I think I'm on a streak or something. Does the team only want me producing nine points a game? See, one SP and we won, and I didn't get to con contribute to help that. So I'm going to get 11 SP coming out of this game. It's only going to be like a two-minute video, guys, ironically. I didn't even know this was happening. They gave me all my minutes in the first half, which I love the fact of. And you just saw my one highlight making that three-pointer from Zeep. And all I'm going to produce out of this game is nine points with six minutes. So I'm going to be hunting in the minutes. But first of all, I'm going to get a question. Get my headset on. Here we go. Can't hear this. All right. It asked me, congratulations on the win tonight. It was definitely a nail-biter. How are you feeling after a close game like that? My options are I could have gone either way. I knew we'd went all along. Huge confident boost for us, or I'm always happy for a win. I'd go with, I knew we went it all along, because that's going to give me everything. You can't hear what he's saying. Nah, 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 boo, boo. Yeah, that was childish. I don't care. Yeah, talk it up, John Robinson. All right. Fan support went up, local fan support went up, teammate chemistry went up. He said, oh, I knew we were going to win all along. The game was a little closer than I would have liked, but I... Have complete confidence in the fact that I can take over and be the difference when the score is close. I might be more used to winning my 20, but a win is a win, right? My stat line still looks pretty either way, too. What I'm going to do next, just for you guys' entertainment, is I'm going to go talk to the GM. And that's how I'm going to close out this video, with a GM discussion. I have a one, We're 1-1 one one right now, so we have a 500 average, obviously, if you can't do math. I'm just going to point it out to you right now. That's 500 average. Heading into me to GM for the first time this season, a GM sit down with the Philadelphia 76ers for John Robinson. Let's see what his kind of options are. I like the job coach is doing. I don't like the job. I don't go along with a particular player. I'm unhappy with my playing time, or I'm not a big pop, enough part of the offense. Definitely that one. Like I said, I just wanted to you, talk to you. You know, I feel like I can do something a lot more for this team. A lot of stuff, a lot more. My scoring is a bit something that could really help us, but I just need the ball in my hands a bit more often. <laughs> Look at my GM in his chair. I ever notice how the GMs always look the same? He said, well, that's really a strategy decision. I would say that you should talk to Coach first about that. But just between you and me, I'll ask him about it. I do think you're doing a good job offensively. Uh, let's do one more. I don't get along with a particular player. My single is, thanks for taking the time to talk with me. I never wanted to be the one to rock the boat or throw a teammate under the bus, but I just have a lot of beef with another member of the team. I know you know how I'm talking about it, and I hope you see what needs to be done about it. Just for position battle's sake, Drew Holiday. He said, we've been following along with how things have been in the locker room. Unfortunately, it isn't an issue that can be resolved easily. We'd like to set up some meetings for you two to work things out, but as far as resolving this through transaction, that isn't something we feel will help the team. I can say, I understand, or are you serious with that? Let's be humble. Humble always wins. You're always the bigger man being humble. He said, I get that, I really do. I just wanted to come in and let you know right now me and him aren't seeing eye to eye. Hopefully that can change, but don't be surprised if something comes of it.
He's just saying thanks for telling me yada yada. And that, I believe, is gonna do it. So, just to let you know, my next game is gonna, up against the Knicks. We're gonna be at home. And I'm not gonna be posting that video until after my vacation to Upstate. I'm not gonna tell you where that is. You have to watch a former video to figure out where that is. The Rookie Showcase Part 2, if you're curious. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to turn in next time. Thank you.